Hello, welcome back to another video, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's an iPod there, so I'm gonna take that. Uh, oh, welcome back to the video. And today, before we get to run this video, please subscribe. We're trying to get to uh, 15 subscribers by the end of the year. You might notice that we are there, but uh, yeah. Anyway, just please subscribe and Twitter down below. Okay, so I found this at an antique shop for like three bucks or something. And I thought it was an Apple TV. I'm like, oh, what is he going to do with this thing? Three dollars. I mean, even though you can see, you know, I iPod, you know, it's not that hard to see. Anyway, this is their... Uh, the focus two gigabyte model uh, i'm not really sure how much these actually went for back then and i can't really type because my keyboard normally goes here but anyway so yeah we got this here and today we're gonna just be taking this cable end, and we're just gonna be seeing what's on it and if i can get it connect to win windows so all we have to do is just plug it plug, plug you hold on there we go uh, oh, it has the upload. I guess I should say, uh, has all this information down here. You can really read if you want. And yeah, it's got, it's got scratches. It's got a lot of scratch. Oh, that's good. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, hold switches on. Now, I don't want to turn this on too many more times because it does get a black dot eventually. Oh, but you have that sound. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but can, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, what I want to see before we get too far in this is just settings. Okay, it is formatted to Windows, so there is no reason why this shouldn't work. Okay, I'm, I got the computer set up here. I don't know how well you can see it. It's right there. So I got that set up. So we're going to see if I can get this to connect. Oh, you're not here. Oh, I thought you just died. Okay. So we got a hold switch here. So basically that just makes it so that you can touch all the buttons, which is nice because they are kind of a fidgety thing and it's not appearing. Hmm. So I have this iPod here. This is actually, uh, I got it new, and I have, like, my music on this thing. This, if I plug it into the uh, computer, is my iPod. Okay, so we got that hooked up to there. So now the real question is, why aren't you, you're not happy? So let's close that. I want... You and I thought one of these buttons puts you into disc mode. I just don't remember which one it is. All right, so I think so. This is what we do. It says hold. It says put hold switch on and off, and then hold down menu and this button, making sure that they're not touching the quick wheel, and wait for that to shut off. Okay, now we need to put hold this button. That should put it into disc mode. Okay, so it's, if you can see it, it's a uh, kind of dim, but it does say okay to disconnect. So if we go into iTunes, right. But I, no, no, do you see, okay. not being happy. I hate this thing. I never want to use this again. Whatever. Okay, so that went very unsuccessful. It barely functioned to the point I don't know how to, I don't know. Maybe if I bought like a, it's Apple says that they still work in, well, okay. Tech reviewers say that they still work in 20, I mean, they still work with modern Macs. And, you know, I got this one to sync fine with iTunes, but I, I don't, oh, are you still on? No, you're dead, okay. So, you know what, I, I don't care. This one has battery issues that expand and make a black dot right there. So it can just go back up there. You uh, can go there. And until next time, come like, subscribe. I'll see you all next time.